I wanted to talk today about a very important topic, something that might bother many of our siblings, the holy ones that are finding themselves many times in struggle and in pain because of things that take place in the world. We know that many of us watching the news and they see things that are going on in the Holy Land of Israel and people are very worried because of terror attacks and because of, of a lot of judgments. And you know, with a magnif magnifying glass, people are watching and looking at Israel and every movement every step, every word is being measured and checked and sifted and criticized. And you're going to say to yourself for no reason, like, what are we doing? We're trying to protect our lives, whatever, like every place are like people are can fail in every place. But like, why all the time we need to be on on the stage, why we need to be under the flashlights. And that question can come up only when you don't realize who the nation of Israel really supposed to be. And this is why we go through all the pain and all the sorrow. And this is why everyone are checking what's going on with us and what are we doing and how are we handling. And we're trying all the time to put the blame on others and to say, hey, why are you checking us? If you're worse than us, you're thinking that we're not treating those people right and those people right and we're doing this and our prime minister is not worse than your president and whatever. All the time we're going to say things, but guys, the only reason what, why we don't understand really what's going on is because we don't realize the importance of our nation. We don't understand that people really expect us to be perfect. And as long as we're not perfect, the world cannot be perfect. We cannot justify ourselves and say to the world, look, we have lackings, we have issues, what do you want from us? We're normal, we're regular, we're the same as you. We're not supposed to be the same as no one. And not because we are better, just because the Creator put us under the flashlights. Only because that the Creator Himself chose us to put us in a certain place to be a role model, to be light to the nations, to show the world how people are supposed to behave, in what ways people are supposed to act and react how people should talk, how people should walk, how people should speak to each other, to raise their children, to educate the next generation, to keep the religion, to keep faith. In that, we should represent the world. And because that we are not perfect and we have our issues, this is why there is such a mess around us. And this is why so many difficulties are piling and closing on us. And we look to others in such dark shade and we cannot be seen beautiful as we really are. Only because we don't understand that really we are supposed to represent the Creator in such a great way. From heaven, the Creator is observing and looking at us. And he's willing to see our effort. He's willing to see us acting like humans, like precious and good and godly souls. He wants us to bring out to the light all the treasures that he treasured inside of us. And he knows our qualities. And therefore he wants to see us succeeding. And he wants us to shine. And when we will shine the whole world will be illuminated and the light will expand and the circles of light will never end and the light will wash the world from all of its lack of, of purity. All the impurity will disappear from the world and only godliness and kindness and real true grace 
will shine upon all people and creations in the universe. And that is our mission. And we cannot exempt ourselves from that and we cannot avoid it. And no excuses will justify bad behaviors and bad manners. We should become perfect. And it's the job of each and every individual to work on himself, to perfect himself, to fix himself perfectly, completely, that there will be no crumb of, of dust to block the light from shining from within, that your bad attributes will disappear, that you will uproot all bad manners, all bad behaviors, that you will never curse, that you will never be angry, that you will never fall to sadness, to depression. And as long as you're allowing yourself to fail in small things, you will continue failing in large and big things. You have a full responsibility and it's not the time and that's not the intention to blame yourself and to judge and criticize yourself for your failures. It's not, oh, it's my fault. Oh, it's all because of me. No, you have a great opportunity to uplift and shift yourself to a higher level. You can become a role model, a light to the nations. You can stand in a place that no person ever stood before. You have the power to illuminate, to shine, to glow. You have the power to reveal the godliness that is treasured inside every cell of creation and inside of you the most. You have that power. And for that, you need to control yourself, to hold your horses, to bring back all your monkeys back to your box and to collect all your nonsense from being spread out to the world. And only to reveal the divine qualities of your Holy Spirit out when you talk, when you walk, when you work, when you speak, when you hug, when you kiss, when you learn, when you, when you give a hand, when you help a friend. In every act, in every step of the way, you must shine. The way to do that is just to be honest. Because the light of the world is the light of the Creator. The Creator, He is the source of light. And He signed His name in the word of truth. He called Himself Elohim Emet, God, truth, the God of truth. Hashem Elohim Emet, Yud Kei Vav Kei, that that's the name of Hashem that is written with the four holy letters Yud and Hey, and then Vav and then Hey. He is Elohim, Elohim the name of God, that it means that He has all the powers, He owns and controls all the actions of the world. He is Emet. Hashem Elohim Emet. That's the name of Hashem. And He's revealing to you that all the grace and all the kindness and all the goodness that is treasured in His name, the holy name of Yudke Vavke, and he is the one to control all those powers by the second name of Elohim, are here to show the truth to the world. That the truth is that when you are connected to him from within, you will shine as him. His light will shine through you. Moshe Isha Elohim, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, People could not look at him, could not, could not see his face. Why? Because the light of God was shining from his portrait. People couldn't stare at his eyes. There was such a strong illumination over there. Because that he nullified himself completely to God, that, God, that the godliness of the Creator was revealed through and out from his skin to the world in a way that people could not look at his figure, at his form, at his body anymore. He was no longer physical. The illumination of the Shekhinah was shining through from his flesh and out and took over. And he could not be seen anymore, only his godliness. And those situations, things that took place in the lives of our ancestors, are coming to represent for us the way that we should work. He was a man of truth 
And if we will follow the truth as he was, we will shine as he. Exactly like that he was shining, we will shine as well. Like that he was righteous, if we will walk in that path to be righteous and pure and kind and nice and helping and sensitive, we will shine as him. There is no difference. We might be his children. You might be one of his great-grandchildren and you don't know that. And many of us are not aware to who they are. But from a tree of mandarins, only mandarins coming out. And the tribes of Israel, the twelve tribes, and the children of Moses, and all the holy souls that came out from that holy tree of life, Abraham and his wife Sarah, Isaac and his wife Rivka, Jacob and his four wives, The power of that amazing holy tree is treasured and installed inside of you. And you must recognize those qualities inside of you and go and shine. The way to do it, like we said before, is by connecting yourself to the truth. The way to connect yourself to the truth is to become a man, a person of truth a woman of truth, to be truthful, to stop lying, to stop making up excuses for all your weaknesses. Say the truth. Say I'm scared. Say I'm tired. Say I'm lonely. Say I don't know. Say I don't have a clue. Say I lost my path. I lost my way. Don't try to justify your silly actions and to plaster the truth and the reality with masks and coverings and more lies and more lies. Lies will reject you from the truth. A lying person cannot stand in front of God. And the Creator is close to everyone who will call Him with truth. So call Him with truth and speak the truth when you speak to people. And speak the truth when you speak to yourself. And speak the truth when you pray to God. And don't try to tell God, Oh, I want to be righteous. I want to be pure. Tell Him the truth. I'm craving for pizza. If that's your truth, say to Hashem, I'm losing my mind because of uh, the smell of, of burgers that I smell. Say to Hashem the truth. I'm dead tired. I don't want to leave the bed. Don't say, oh, because of the kids I couldn't go to sleep early. Don't blame. That was the main sin of Adam, that he tried to put the blame on Eve, on his wife. And therefore he'd been kicked out of heaven from Garden of Eden because he tried to put the blame on his wife. The woman that you gave me, she made me sin. That's where the mistake started. If he would just be a person of truth to stand and to admit, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, I failed. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. I messed up. I violated the first commandment that you told me. The first thing you told me, I already destroyed. I am so ashamed of myself. If he would do tshuva, if he would do tshuva, if he would come back to Hashem, he would not be kicked out of the Garden of Eden. You want to fix everything? Join me. And we're going to fix it together. Because I will never back off from that path that I started 20 years ago and probably even earlier before I knew. And you're more than welcome to join me. To be the most honest and sincere and truthful and loving people on earth. Join me on that journey and you'll be very lucky. Very, very lucky. Don't back off from the real truth. You don't need to follow people. 
You don't need to follow rabbis. You don't need to follow rules. You don't need to follow nothing. You need to follow the truth and the truth will shine. The truth will shine from the light of the Torah. It can shine from the light of people. It can shine from the mouths of rabbis. It can shine from books. It can shine from the verses. It can shine, but it will shine not because that they are being called in certain titles and names, just because of their holiness. If they will not be people of truth, the truth will not come out of their mouths, no matter how we're going to title them and how much honor we're going to respect them. They can take that honor and can go down deep into darkness with all the respect and honor that is stolen from the Creator Himself. You need to be people of truth and to seek for the truth, even from a beggar in the street, even from a broken and poor animal that walks in the alley, you can find the truth. From your own flesh, you can recognize God. Of course, that if you found a righteous man, if you were found and been inspired by a righteous woman, of course, you can go and ask the words of Hashem from them. No problem at all. But the fact that someone been titled as a righteous man or an important chashuv, I don't know what, that is not guaranteeing the truth to come out of his mouth. Many people are stealing honor and respect for themselves and they are pathetic liars that are trying to possess people and to fraud people for their own lust and desires, being controlled by their own fears and bad attributes like anger and jealousy and sadness. People of truth are demanding the truth and the truth can be recognized. When you're desiring the truth, you will recognize truth coming out from the mouths of the true speakers, of the truth seekers, those ones that does not give discounts and make discounts for themselves, those who seek to do tshuva, that are looking to take responsibility on their lives, to be honest, never to cheat, never to lie, never to fraud no one, never to betray the trust of their loved ones, the ones who commit themselves for the truth, to the Creator with no doubt and never to stop. I bless you to rise and shine and may all your prayers be answered in no time. Amen. Can you hear The world does not exist because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. Okay.